The popular social media platform TikTok is back in the news tonight as several states are now suing the app. One of those states is Massachusetts. And just this afternoon, our Attorney General, Andrea Joy Campbell, explained why she's getting involved. Massachusetts Attorney General Andrea Joy Campbell filed a lawsuit Tuesday in Suffolk Superior Court against TikTok, claiming the app is harmful to children's mental health by designing its platform to be addictive to kids. Um, of course, not only the Attorney General, I'm a mom of two beautiful boys, a five, soon to be five year old and a seven year old. And as I and the team filed this complaint today, we all stress one thing that I, along with the team, refuse to let Massachusetts tolerate a future where companies exploit young people for profit. The AG laying out her complaint, alleging TikTok is intentionally deceiving the public about its efforts to keep its platform safe, and that violates the Commonwealth's consumer protection laws and contributes to a youth mental health crisis. It's a concern that's nothing new towards TikTok and social media in general. Basically, what they do is they use an algorithm to find what you might be interested in. And by the way, they do this to adults as well. I mean, we're talking here about the harm to youth because obviously we feel that it's a lot more dangerous, right? They're impressionable and it can affect their life in a more dramatic fashion. Who can forget the various TikTok challenges, many taken up by children to perform risky and sometimes dangerous tasks like teens daring each other to eat Tide Pods. Admittedly, an extreme example, but not uncommon. As Stan Prager, owner of Go Geeks, explains, social media is designed specifically to get you to watch and get you hooked. They use an actual methods of uh, scroll through, which kind of f makes you look at more and more of the things they're feeding you, okay? And you're not aware of it. It's an aspect of TikTok the Attorney General's complaint specifically references, calling out the app's various features that allegedly, quote, work to override young users' agency and psychologically manipulate them into compulsive and addictive use of the platform. As one TikTok executive acknowledged, this system exploits children's heightened fear of missing out, playing into their mental, into their natural instinct to respond. As we allege, these intentional features are remarkably effective. And A.G. Campbell isn't alone, as a dozen other states and the District of Columbia file lawsuits Tuesday as well. This latest round just adding to the increasing troubles for one of the largest social media platforms in the world. On the national level, TikTok could even be banned here in the U.S. after running afoul of federal law if its communist China-based parent company, ByteDance, doesn't sell the platform by mid-January. Today's lawsuits follow a similar one filed by A.G. Campbell last fall against Facebook's parent company, Meta, also alleging it engages in unfair and deceptive practices that harm young people.